Hey guys, it's January 25th, 2022. Which teams and athletes are making the headlines? Let's take a look. This is The Scene with me, Jane Slater. Leading off, four of the best teams in the country met at the Girls Basketball Invitational in Minneapolis over the weekend. It included Grandview High from Colorado, Hopkins High from Minneapolis, and the championship game featured second-ranked DeSoto from Texas against number one Sidwell Friends School from Washington, D.C. Behind five-star prospect Kiki Rice, Sidwell finished the game on an 11-0 run to defeat DeSoto 60-55. The prestigious McDonald's All-American teams were announced earlier on Tuesday, and as you would expect, it includes many of the nation's best high school prospects. The aforementioned Rice and number one overall prospect Lauren Betts from Grandview, Colorado, Headline the girls' team. The boys' team, meanwhile, is led by top prospect Derek Lively from Westtown School and five-star point guard Amari Bailey from Sierra Canyon in California. While teams have been named the previous two seasons, the games have not actually been played since 2019 due to COVID. This year's games are scheduled to be played in Chicago in March. For the complete rosters, check out McDonald'sAllAmerican.com. In the Houston area, Sean Jones brought the house down. The Shadow Creek High School senior and Texas State commit shattered the backboard on this follow-up dunk against Alif Hastings. Like, I looked, like, it felt weird when I dunked it, because, like, you know, like, you could feel, like, on the rim, like, kind of shaking, like, didn't go nowhere. But it felt like I just went straight through air or something, like, I was like, what? And then I looked, and I just saw the rim on the floor, glass everywhere. I, and all, all my teammates ran the court. They all was around me, the whole team. And it was just exciting. I was... I was pumped up for real. The game had to be completed in another gym and Shadow Creek won 79 to 51. How's this for a dramatic finish? That is Javi Russell of Bellin Jesuit with a game winner from midcourt to upset Miami High School 57 to 54. And to make it better, it was the 400th career victory for head coach Gaston Rodriguez. In New Orleans, there was a surprise guest at Newman High School's basketball game last week. Alabama football coach Nick Saban, he was on hand to watch Newman's Arch Manning, who is the number one football recruit in the 2023 class. Saban is in for quite a fight for Manning's commitment. Georgia, Texas, Ole Miss, and Clemson are considered the top contenders along with Alabama for Manning. Also in recruiting, when you're on the road, it's hard to find time to work out. But Jim Harbaugh did. The Michigan head coach got in some squats while visiting Jesuit High School in Tampa last week. While there's no official word on who Harbaugh was recruiting, Jesuit does feature Troy Bowles, one of the best linebackers in the 2023 class. Finally, a football team in Pennsylvania got in a different type of workout. When a snowstorm hit the Pittsburgh area, Bethel Park High School coach Brian DeLallo took to Twitter to tell his team that their weight room session was canceled. Instead, he told his team to shovel the driveway of someone in need. The players didn't accept any money for their services, but they did get a lot of thank yous from several grateful neighbors. Remember to follow Sports Stars of Tomorrow on all of our social media channels for more bonus content, including previews of our upcoming episode. This week's show will feature five-star girls prospect Justine Pissat, from Red Bank Catholic in New Jersey. You can also visit our website to see all of our latest features, including our recent story on Duke commit Derek Lively. I'm Jane Slater. Join me back here next week on The Scene.